Oh, look at this. This is our tree. Nope, nope, not really. This is our tree. Ollie, no. No. Stop. What? Stop. What? I said no. Ollie, what are you doing? That's basically kids in a nutshell right there. You think they're being so cute, but then they're basically just wanting to destroy everything. Huh? Oh! Oh no. You okay? Here, your milk and you are just fine. Stand up. Karma, give him kisses. He fell. Help him feel better. There we go. See, you're okay. <laughs> you're okay. Good morning, guys. We are back at our old house. This is the last time we'll be here. We are actually cleaning up um, the place just because. Um, now it's gonna go back up for rent, and so we gotta make sure it's all clean before we leave. I guess it's not that bad. We got everything out of here. Now we just gotta like vacuum and mop and sweep and clean these things. These things are so, you can never clean these things when you have furniture, so it's nice once there's no furniture, you can actually clean them. We are in a tiny bit of a panic. Claire Bear, our cat, got pretty freaked out and he, you know, went out like he always does, but he never came back last yesterday before we left for the new house. And so we left him with some food. We were hoping he'd be here this morning and we know he came here because <laughs> he's a really messy eater. So when he eats, he put, he like leaves food everywhere all over around his um, bowl and when we came here this morning there was food all over the bowl So we know he was here sometime between the time that we left and this morning, but he's not here right now So we're really really hoping that he comes here because it would be a really big bummer If we have to keep coming here every single day to try and wait for him to come back I mean, I would think that eventually we will find him. I don't think he's packed his bags and left or anything I'm sure he's just really freaked out Alright guys, we are basically almost completely done and our noses are filled with, with all kinds of chemicals, huh? I like chemicals. <laughs> we've got all kinds of like cleaning stuff that we've been just breathing. We're starting to feel a little bit woozy. It smells like dust. I know. Like yeah, feet. we've been cleaning these things off and just dust everywhere. So, uh, basically done. Like, look at this. Oh, we left this over here. Gotta get that. Uh, and it's completely cleaned Oliver's old nursery. And now it's actually sad because the first time it was sad we were moving out of the house. But now this is the last time I'm ever gonna see his first nursery. And it's really weird. Like this is the house that he came home to. And this is the house that we moved into last minute. Like how, how many weeks was I, Mom? 36 weeks. Weeks. I was 36 weeks pregnant. We decided we're moving. We moved here. We painted this room almost immediately, and I had him at 37 Seven. weeks. Yeah, we were here like like 10 days before. You yeah. Had Ollie. Isn't that crazy, you guys? Talos has a lot of memories. His first Christmas, his first nursery. And this is it. The last time we're gonna see it. So it's weird. We have it. Have it in the vlogs forever. Yes, that is unlike, true. Unlike all your first exactly. homes you lived in, I don't have anything. You've got <laughs> vlogs of all. I know, and that's so true. Like, Ollie will always be able to look back and look at his first nursery. Hey, Karma, how are you, boy? How are you? Uh-oh, look at Ollie's being mischievous. What's up, kiddo? Look at how he is dressed, you guys. We got him in this new long sleeve from Old Navy and some pants. We've just been hanging out all morning uh, watching The Hobbit. 
and Missy just texted me and said that she's all finished. She had to like go over and do a bunch of stuff this morning. So it's just been Ollie and I, but now we're gonna go see mommy and I think we're gonna do something fun today, boy. What do you think we're gonna do? I think we might be going to get a tree. So that's why I'm rocking my new Redwoods California shirt. We're getting ready to leave and we still have not found the cat. So everyone's starting to get a little bit panicky, but the neighbors all know the cat. You looking? What are you doing down there? Wait, hang on. <laughs> so they're down here looking for Claire. This is like behind our house. No, no meows? This happens all the time, but it took forever to get out of the house this morning, and not because I had to like get Oliver ready or anything like that. He's all dressed and snazzy and drinking his apple juice, but because I didn't have any keys or a wallet. I was looking everywhere for it, and it turns out that Missy has both of them in her purse. And this happens all the time, you guys. My wife always yeah. takes my wallet and my keys, puts them in her purse, and then she leaves without me, not even thinking, and then I'm like, blah. So I had to search forever for backup key, because we do have two keys to the Prius, and so I finally found this one like in the back of my desk drawer. And I was like, yes, I can go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright, okay, so um, I'm sitting in the back with Ollie because um, I'm feeding him some lunch. Huh, did you eat some good lunch? Brian just ran into Coles because he's looking for a couple things, but um, I just started taking a new medication and um, basically it's I had to add another hormone and this progesterone actually <laughs> It actually makes me extremely dizzy and drowsy and so I feel so dizzy right now like I don't know if you guys can even tell but like I can barely like I can barely like keep things straight it's oh it's messing with me so badly I am just so nauseated nauseated and dizzy I can barely even talk to Hopefully it passes pretty quickly because we got a lot to do today. But we got the whole house done, so I'm happy about that. And now I'm just gonna hang out with my family and do Christmas stuff and decorate our tree. Are you excited to decorate for Christmas? Well guys, it's that time. Fresh Christmas tree. Do you smell that, Missy? It smells so good. That's a big one too. We got vaulted ceilings where we're gonna put these so we can go as tall as we want. We can go 20 footer. Yeah, no. It has to be as tall as our budget, I guess. Fresh Christmas trees, you guys. It's that time, you ready, Holly? Look at all these trees, buddy. I wish we brought his shoes so he can run around, but he's just gotta look. It's like we're in a forest. How cool. All right, Holly, they just brought this big one out here. Look at these. These are like 12 footers. <laughs> You like that? <laughs> he was getting scared when they did the chainsaw. It was kind of sad, but now he's happy. These are some big trees, babe. It's hard to decide. Yeah. I don't want it to be super big. I want it to be like tall and skinny. It just smells so good. I can't wait for our house to smell good like this, you know? We got a big old Christmas tree on top of a very tiny Prius. <laughs> it's up and we're taking it home. This one's ours, babe. Yep. We're gonna take this, this one's gonna be a part of the family. I know, I'm really excited about it. We got right string. Here. It's this to play while it. you're driving. Yes. I don't know, I just hope it looks good. It really, really If you're good. nervous about how it looks good, you should've just got the one that I said. The one that he wanted was way too big. It was so fat and so tall. I'm like, ugh. That's how you do it. You go I hard. just wanted a nice. We're celebrating baby Jesus with a tree. <laughs> so you get the biggest tree. <laughs> oh, look at this. This is our tree. Nope, nope, not really. This is our tree. Isn't that cool? He's like, this goes here. Uh, so yeah, we ended up putting our tree right in this room. Look how big. And it is quite beautiful. I love the way it looks. Um, the back, you can tell there is some gaps. You can kind of see some gaps. It's hard to tell on the camera, but um, back it has some gaps. But the front of it, very full, very tall, and slender and pretty. Did you get pine all over your hands? No. <laughs> oh, or sap. I have sap all over my hands. <laughs> Brian made me help him bring a tree in. Of course, he oh, didn't have any other help. You went like this. You went like, ugh. I literally like dropped it. And I like, I seriously like bent Come my on. hand. I'm kind of bummed about it, but. Um, Wait, did you hurt yourself? Yeah, like I really hurt my hand. 
It smells so good in here already. I know, it seriously smells like a Christmas tree. Look at him, he keeps putting his head on it. Look, Golly, do you see it? What's under there? He wants to crawl under it. <laughs> Our place is a mess right now, you guys. We got bags everywhere, decorations everywhere. Oh, he was riding it. Are you riding your horse? We just put all the lights on the tree. And Karma is freaking out now because he sees lights. But we had to take a little break so we could do some dinner. So I made like this rosemary chicken in the oven. Smells really good, looks good. We got some corn and I am starving Marvin. Does it smell good? Yeah, it smells really good. I thought you were making like Texas toast because it smells so like garlic. -y. Oh yeah, it is pretty garlicky, huh? That thing, that's all I use. Just top it on the chicken and throw it in the oven. It's really easy, I love those things. So we went to Michael's today because we basically don't have stuff for a normal Christmas tree, huh? Small Christmas tree, and even that stuff, we didn't really have much of it. Yeah, so. and I that stuff, like, we got all at the thrift store like four years ago. Yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah. Yeah, so you were like. Really unique things. In yeah, so we have cool stuff that we're probably gonna keep and put on this tree, but we had nothing for like a large Christmas tree like this. So we went to Michael's because everything was 50% off, all the Christmas stuff. So we got like cranberries, cool little like white snow crystal thingies, gold leaves. This, like, the glitter on this is cray. Oh, karma. Karma? What is that? What is that? So oh, no, Karma! Oh, he got glitter all over him. Like, this year I am experimenting with the white lights. I'm not sure how oh, I feel yeah. yet. Let me know, are you a white lights or a colorful lights person? I like the white lights just because I think it's classy. I don't know. Um, I think it's pretty, but um, I'm afraid I won't feel like it's as Christmassy, so that's why I actually uh -huh. am doing a second tree, and it's just going to be a small <laughs> one in that room, and I'm that's definitely cute. having color lights on that one. Yeah. You guys can even tell but there is so much glitter right now encompassing my arm it's kind of ridiculous <laughs> it's these things uh, we're slowly but surely getting our Christmas tree all set up but the little one had to go to bed because he was being crazy all right I think that we're about halfway down with the tree but I feel like we're missing something we got this big white um like a uh, ribbon to go around it it's like this but it ends up seriously looking like toilet paper when you wrap it around the tree because i think it's just too thick so if you look at the tree now it's super pretty i love like the red and the gold and the white it's so pretty um but i definitely think we're missing like white like a ribbon around it or something just because i don't know i just feel like it's missing like a more bright brightness of it and i gotta be honest I think I tr really, truly in my heart, I feel like I'm really missing my color lights. Is that so weird? It's just so different that it's hard for me to feel like it looks like Christmas. <laughs> I don't know. Look what we got, guys. Nature box. I think we're actually planning a trip to Disney this week, so this came at a really good time because we love taking nature box treats to Disney. <laughs> Look what Karma's there? doing What's right now. What's in there? He's like, yes. I'm really excited about this one because... I got all brand new things that I'm really stoked about. I already broke into these things. They're guacamole bites. And I just I just noticed too that when you tear off the bag, it says start snacking. Mmm. You like them? I love them. Yeah, they're pretty good. They're like savory. I love the savory things that Why Nature Why would I like that? That's amazing. <laughs> we also got apple pie oat clusters. These look really good. It's like an apple pie uh, granola almost. Honey macadamia pretzel pops. <laughs> Carmen's like, these all sound so good. And the honey Dijon pretzels. I've yet to try these, but I've tried the honey mustard ones, and I really like those. And Imagine. yes, it normally comes with five. We get five every month from Nature Box, but one is gone. Confession. 
I ate one already. Yeah. yeah. Pineapple. I got. I get the pineapple for Missy. I have to get one for her every month, and it's gone within the first day. So really she gone. literally <laughs> ate it all, you guys. I need to get her just one box full of just pineapple. I'm pretty sure you can do that my because mom got, she loves it. My mom got her nature box today, and I almost ate the entire bag of pineapple. <laughs> she got hers today, too? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's so funny. If you guys want to get some free snacks from Nature Box, you can check out the link below in the description. Okay, they're gonna hook you up with some free stuff. Missy's eating all my guacamole bites. It's so good. Go check out Missy's new video if you guys haven't seen it yet. We're gonna go ahead and the vlog, but click thumbs up if you guys liked our Christmas tree. It's pretty cool seeing it all sparkle over there. Isn't that pretty? It's pretty and it smells good. You did a good job on that, babe. Thanks. She pretty much did it all. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Finding a parking spot and all that, and it's just gonna be crazy for the rest of the year. Just tons of people, Christmas shopping, um, which is actually what we're doing. We're Christmas shopping. There are some really good deals, and I was like, okay, fine, yes. let's go check this out. He's always against Black Friday. I do. I like the <laughs> fun of Black Friday, even if I don't necessarily buy anything. I just like standing in lines and like the craziness of it. You like standing in lines. <laughs> it's like Disneyland has prepared us for things like that. <laughs>